say my goals when creating the dance program here at St. John's uh, was to really create a program that was student driven and that's very diverse and has a, pl a place in a home for everybody uh, from beginner through advanced students, um, all styles of dance and uh, some, a place that people can feel comfortable and you know think is their second home and a, a, I always tell them this is a place that you should feel a room that you should feel comfortable in you know let er, leave everything at the door and just enjoy the uh, creativity and the process of dance. Um, actually, 2003, my first year as a freshman, was the first year of dance work. So I've really seen it from day one. Now I've been here for 10 years, so I got to see it grow. Originally, when I came to um, St. John's, I was part of the Kickline program. However, when dance works had started, it was definitely an opportunity for me. I was dancing since I was three years old. Um, I was part of a dance competition, I traveled all around the world, but I had quit that to be part of um, Dance Works at uh, St. John the Baptist. It was an excellent experience that I had. Um, it started my junior year and it started as just a regular dance class in a dance um, studio. And then my senior year it started into a company which I had um, also was participating in. Um, which we were then able to travel to Lincoln Center, which was an amazing experience with, I believe, a group of about 10 girls. And it really helped me become the person that I am today. Well, my experience here with the program at St. John's was kind of an interesting one, only because I came in the year that it began. So um, I had this kind of like love-hate relationship with dance beforehand, and then I came in here and I saw that there was this dance program that I just started, and I was like, you know what, it might be interesting to get into this for a little bit, just to see like, how I feel about it, if it's different than this like Dolly Dinkle dance studio thing that's going on on Long Island. Um, and that's exactly what I needed, only because it was something that came from artistry as opposed to just something purely physical. I remember being a freshman, and we were all in the gymnasium, and we were listening to her give her speech about what she was going to bring, what she was going to do for us, and I, and that was it. I was hooked. I was ready to begin the dance career here at St. John's, and um, I am forever grateful that she came to St. John's, and I got to get all of the experiences that I could in the three years. Uh, one of my main goals really has always been um, about teaching about the creative process and giving the students artistic license and ownership of their work. Um, I really enjoy teaching them about uh, create, being creative and the process of that and how do you create, how you do choreograph and creating a dance. Um, and really not only the process of creation but then when they actually make a dance, um, taking ownership of it and feeling proud of, the, of their work. And it's really wonderful to see um, a student that maybe is very quiet and introverted maybe in their day-to-day -day classes, in their classrooms, and then to see them get in front of their peers and teach their peers and uh, choreography and they just come out of their shell. And for me, that was always um, one of the attractions to dance for me. Um, while I was part of the SGB Dance Company, there was about 16 of us, and I could say that we pretty much became a family. Uh, while we were only here, you know, two days a week from three to five together, it felt like we were together all the time, always talking. The Sunday rehearsals were never a problem because we just loved being with each other, and being on stage together made it that much more special. The program here is very collaborative, which is one of the most important skills, I think, in the dance world, because if you, well, like me, I'm hopefully going to be pursuing a career in this field and further down the line whatever work you will find in this career is all collaborative you need to work with others you need to work how to talk with others communicate with others and other people have different ideas so you need to find that happy medium and how you guys can work together to create the same goal and it's overall good life process. 
Um, sometimes it was hard, sometimes it was easy. There were so many different ideas sometimes that when you were creating a piece with so many ideas, it kind of was hard to get on the same page, but once things started to flow, it just, it was really, it came out really nice because you had that connection with other people and um, it was just really rewarding and it made you grow as friends and as dancers. With, in my dance classes, in Dance Works and in Dance Company, everyone that you were in class with became a family to you. Um, especially Dance Company because that was the biggest part, I think my biggest part here. Um, I loved, I looked forward to staying after for every rehearsal, weekend rehearsals, on stage, traveling to all the different places that we um, performed at and doing it as a group and we became really, really close because of it and it, being with those people uh, made me more comfortable while I was performing and expressing myself and doing choreography and so on. I've known Miss Sussman since I was about eight years old, so she's always been a big inspiration to me, um, with, whether it was with musical theater or just pursuing anything that I set my mind to. She was always there for me, and I still speak with her as often as I can. Well, without Mrs. Sussman and kind of the whole dance program, I wouldn't have figured out how much I loved choreographing and um, how much like a big family we would become. And she really kind of led everything and brought everyone together. It's fantastic. Mrs. Sussman is one of my best role models. She has been encouraging all through my entire life. Um, we still keep in contact, and it's really nice to have you know, such an encouraging person in my life and someone to look up to. Miss Sussman influenced me so much throughout my high school career. Uh, she taught me to not be afraid when choreographing and um, to just express myself in my, chore in my choreography. Um, she, I use her words in everyday life when I'm choreographing at my studio. I have to say, Sus really just had my love grow for it. She's like my little big sister, so I really just can't, I can't thank her enough. She just had my love grow. Wow, 10 years. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Um, I hope I'll be here in another 10 years uh, making another video and another documentary and having 20 years worth of alumni coming back and sharing their stories. Um, you know, as the program grows, I continue to have the pro hope to have the program grow. And, you know, it's always my, my goal to bring in guest teachers uh, for the students to learn about different techniques and um, perform at different venues. We've performed at Lincoln Center and Carnegie Hall, been on Channel 12, you know, travel with the students and um, just keep growing and growing and uh, bigger and better things as the future. And who knows what the future will hold? Hopefully it's wonderful things.